Hello everybody and welcome to the part 73 of the Ardoboy Dev stream. Uh, so today we will do optimization because last time when we added a new level we reached uh, memory, we filled the memory, we reached 100% and um, yeah we need to free up some program uh, so actually I have started outside of the video to do some optimization um, and um, and uh, I will show you that first and uh, we will try to continue I'm not sure if we will gain any uh, any byte any space that's always the problem when you optimize it's a bit difficult to to know what to what to do uh, so it's often uh, a try and error process and also you sometimes you break the code by removing stuff or simplifying stuff you you may break the the logic of the game so uh, it's honestly it's not the optimizing is not the part I prefer <laughs> um, but uh, on a such a small platform it's necessary unfortunately so yeah anyway let's start let me show you what I've done so uh, last time was uh, adding the we <coughs> last video the last commit was this adding the arrow launcher level and then I did uh, three four commit uh, for optimization so let's see so we have so first I remove all the unused function in the custom hard boy um, so I don't know if you remember but uh, a few few video few episodes before uh, we have already uh, copied the hard boy uh, class and library into our code just because we wanted to already optimize it simplify it and remove some uh, precious uh, program uh, okay so I've started by doing that 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 commit doesn't change any at all the uh, the size of the program uh, because basically I was removing function that I didn't use and those function because I didn't use was already stripped by the compiler uh, by the linker so this this change didn't change at all the program size but I did it just to clarify the code just to clean the code just to have a a better view of uh, what we have and what we should keep what what is necessary so I think it was just the first path of cleaning uh, before I left all this function just in case uh, when I was developing the game I may need them so I didn't know, know if I want to use them but now I think the game engine is pretty done it's done honestly yeah I don't want to add any more features so we can clearly I can clearly remove all this function I'm sure I will, I will not use them at all and, and uh, I'm just I just want to add data now more level more data <coughs> but no more code anymore uh, all right so this is just a clean pass so basically the header remove the press not press we have our input manager uh, that does that our input manager is uh, is a bit better because it can tell you if it pressed just pressed during this frame or or, or continuously pressed which is uh, necessary for us so I don't need those one um, I remove boot util well this one save a little bit of uh, of of memory because this one was called uh, this one is just to to make a flashlight <laughs> like <laughs> you can transform your uh, uh, out the boy into a flashlight which means you can light up the wall screen in white if you if you were I will show you the code if you were pressing the up button while switching out the the out boy we go come on I don't need that don't waste me some 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 precious program just for this uh, I don't even understand why this is part of the library anyway uh yeah i remove draw circle draw circle helper fill circle fill circle helper draw line direct 
uh, draw and run rag, for fill run rag, draw triangle, fill triangle, draw bitmap. So the draw bitmap, we remove it because we use the draw bitmap extended with the mirror flag at the end. Uh, draw slow bit, bitmap also no need. Okay, we use this one everywhere. We use this function everywhere in the code. All right, so in the CPP, um, So yeah, the boot util was called into the the boot. So this function, since it, since it was called, it was using some program because this function was in the code. Okay, and then like I said, if you press the up button, then they blank the screen, they put the LGB in white, and then they stay into in into this infinite loop. <laughs> um, anyway, we don't need that. Uh, remove the de deprecated uh, function, draw circle, blah blah blah, all this one, all this one, and the press and press. All right, next I start optimizing. So this time I optimize everything related to the printing of the text. Actually, not everything because I didn't. Uh, start optimizing the font and I think that's what we will do today uh, so let's see uh, I just inline the clear but doesn't change the size of the code um, and yeah basically I change the draw char by uh, using from using from an int to uh, to a byte to a char because obviously when you want to draw character you want to draw it on screen so there is no well at least in in uh, Rick Ardoros in your game we don't try to draw a text outside of the screen right we always draw the text on screen <laughs> so I don't need to have a a negative uh, number, negative x, negative y, or uh, x and y, which is bigger than the screen size. No, I will draw always on, on, on screen. So let's not use an int and let's use a char. And if you do that, that saves a lot of memory, actually. Because every time we use an int, like a 16-bit uh, variable, because it's an 8-bit uh, processor the other boy then yeah extra code is generated just to move move the the, the char so so every time you where every time you can use a char instead of a, of a word or, or, or like I said a 8 bit byte or, or two bytes then you should do it every time you can use a byte use it instead of an int right um, we we do use int in our code like if you remember and i will i will study it again the x and y coordinate of all our items are int and it was a deliberate choice uh, from the beginning i wanted to waste some memory on that waste a little bit of memory on that uh, because um, that's much easier to manage the um, to manage the position of the item when you have many 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 different puzzle screen like this and especially rig but the other items too if we don't have that if we store the position x and y of the item on a byte on a char that means we also need to store what puzzle ID in which puzzle ID you are and then it's like a kind of interaction so puzzle ID and inside this puzzle I have this uh, coordinate which um, which could be a bit troublesome uh, leads to some uh, complex uh, coding and uh, 
all the code you had to manage this change of screen uh, maybe I'm not sure if it's less than just using int but at least it's a bit more complex and and probably would had more bugs um, if we still cannot find any enough memory uh, after optimization maybe we can try to switch the int to to char like uh, making a big change set to try uh, and then compile and see what is the result but uh, th that's a huge refactoring so of course that's the last thing I would try to do but here obviously draw char you draw a character on screen you you don't want int you don't want 16 bit just 8 is enough so it's the same for set cursor so set cursor is to set the position where you will draw we just draw on screen so um, then I remove the set text size and set, set text wrap so text wrap is to wrap the text when you reach the end of the screen and uh, and then blah, 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 and then you wrap it um, so uh, I don't need that because I don't have any long text in the game and I just have basically title or menu menu item menu title uh, like uh, all the winning screen the losing screen is just few sentences so I don't I don't need a wrap I don't need the text size also text size is for making the right the font in big like two times bigger three times bigger four times bigger etc so obviously all our text is written with uh, size number one the first size so I just remove these two which means here I can remove this eight text size and also this bool right and then I change uh, the cursor position from uh, 16 to, to 8 so here already we have saved some bytes and and here the compilation will be much smaller um, so in the CPP uh, I removed the text size or oh, I commented the uh, set of the cursor because uh, in my in all code we always set cursor before drawing the first text we we never just drew a text without the set cursor uh, written so let's not waste uh, that uh, let's let's not waste program for for here um, but of course again um, not again but of course the people who wrote the library they they want to do that because they just provide uh api library to people and people may just write text without uh, calling the set cursor before so it would be better to set the the value but here we don't need so this i i made it in line all right so uh about the draw char uh so basically yeah int so i i removed this I removed the clipping from right bottom left top and uh, and the clipping was also necessary uh, especially if you had a big size like size two three four if you, if you want to write a big big font you probably need to clip it but here I don't need it and bas basically I also removed the size uh, parameters here which means if I remove the size, I don't need to iterate like to re uh, duplicate the pixel, the pixels one, two, three times depending on the size when you draw the characters. So also this can be simplified, which also make the draw of the draw char faster, by the way. So it's faster and it the, the code is smaller for sure. Set cursor, okay so remove set side remove set wrap and the right now so the right is uh, actually the right is a virtual function and I, I want it to remove but I cannot remove it because it's called by the core base uh, library so I have to do it but I make it much 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 more simpler basically I just uh, remove the handling of the backslash backslash n um, because yeah again uh, I don't need to uh, write several lines and, and go to the, the next line right I don't need to do that actually I was doing it but I changed the code and that's the le next change 
So uh, also remove the text size before because it's always one. So let's make it one. And uh, yeah, so it just the only useful code is this one for us. And yeah, like I said in the main menu, uh, I said we didn't really um, use the uh, backslash n, but actually yes, we did with the print ln. The print ln function was just calling write with the backslash n at the end. So I just remove all my print ln and just to keep the print. Also, that makes the the function print ln is also stripped from the code when by the linker. And then I just replace it by a set cursor. So by the way, before we had also some some space. You don't see it. Let me show it here like this. Uh, so before we were adding some space. So I can also remove this space and just set the correct uh, cursor. So remove the space instead of using the print ln function. Print line, okay. Uh, and this actually saved quite a lot of uh, of memory, by the way. So, oh, I, I, I wrote down, I started, um, I started to optimize the first was uh, 27,964. Nine, nine, byte for the program and after after I finished my uh, optimization session I reached 27180 which means I could save uh, 800 800 byte 800 is not bad almost one kilo <laughs> almost 1000 no 800 but uh, that, that's that's a pretty lot, right? And I think we can still do more. We will try to do more anyway. Okay, so the next, what did I change? I changed the uh, um, uh, X and Y parameter uh, from into char in the all the draw function. For the same logic as I explained you for the draw characters, I also uh, change all this int to char. Because here again in in all game, I only draw on screen. I only draw on screen. I don't want to draw um, outside of the uh, outside. Give give our parameters that draw outside of the screen and let the let the function clip it. And and even if you draw outside of the screen, like if you I don't know if you give a two hundred sixty uh, instead of two hundred fifty five, then it will just it will loop. So it will just draw pixels. On, on the other it will loop and you will see some drawing artifact so if this happen you can check and, and see uh, okay what happened and maybe just fix the calling function the function that draw uh, the pixels or draw the rectangle anyway the field rectangle is basically is used by uh, um, it's used by the title in the main screen and it's also used by the shutter screen the black shutter screen we, we draw two black rectangle here and uh, by the way by doing this this optimization changing from 16 to 8 uh, we the code is much faster is running much faster so I don't know if you remember but before when we when you die there's there was um, a kind of uh, a sound effect which was do 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 and most of the time the last bit was too slow it was like do 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 instead of do 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 it was do 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 okay and that is i think that was the reason that is w because one frame was was missed uh so because the drawing i guess huh, i guess but i think it's the reason because the drawing of the uh, black fill rectangle was taking too much time because actually the field rect is calling the draw fast line. And and when the shutter is almost closed, you, you draw the full screen, almost the full screen. So when when the shutter is just a little, that's fine. 
but then when it reached here it's too much to draw and then the, the game uh, lag and yeah that was lagging making the sound lagging too so <laughs> that's why the sound was lagging after i optimized this because now we just have a char byte and no int then the sound becomes okay now it's a two 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 it's not lagging anymore so um yeah i was i was quite happy to found uh that th this was the reason why the the sound was not correct uh, so why why they use int here that's the same question but basically is because they they wanted to clamp again to check if the character was outside so they had a if dev pixel safe mode like okay we are checking if the pixel is inside the screen if not then we just return And you could disable the, disable this uh, by uh, undefining this macro. By the way, it was defined by default. But you just probably save few bytes of code here, right? But you actually, it's still int. And the, every time you have int and int operation, it just generate more code, right? Because uh, the, the, the add cannot be done in one instruction on the 8-bit processor. It has to use several instructions to do the add uh, or addition, subtraction, whatever, any operation. Um, so anyway, I change it to, to char and then I remove the cast. We don't need cast anymore because it's in the correct uh, format. And I've done the same for the other one. Um, I also removed the max and the mean uh, because, uh, yeah, obviously, like I said, I don't care if if I'm outside of the screen, I will draw on, I will uh, the, the the value will will boot reboot, and I will draw on the other side of the screen, which is okay for me. I mean, it's a bug, but it's a visible bug that you can fix by just giving some coordinate which are inside the screen. Just let let the the calling code fix it instead of trying to do it in the library code uh all right and that's the same for fill rect rectangle just give int and um, also be able to change the i from x to x plus width that should stay inside the screen The swap function was not needed anymore. So after that, this this saved quite a lot of bytes actually, quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, finally, after yeah, so that was the second optim, and uh, then after that, I put back all the instance on the map data just to see uh, how much uh, is the is the code now because if you remember we have just for testing we had commented uh, uh, we, we commented some some instance here just to to reduce the size and uh, so I put it back but uh, now we fill the memory again so with that we are at uh, 98 uh, again so we are at 98 so with still more optimization and even if i put the if i put the um, spawn point on the first puzzle we also exceed the 100 percent so we need more optimization all right so let's do it let's try um so yesterday i i the outside of the video i mainly focused on these two custom out boy I think we are pretty done on uh, honestly on this uh, on this file. Uh, no, maybe not. There is some um, there is some function that we don't really need, um, like uh, uh, the function that CPU load, for example. But maybe this one is 
is not used is not it's not coal but i think it used some of the variable here to to calculate this um let's check if it's used so it's not used and it's uh last frame during duration millisecond divided by each frame millisecond okay so i could call it if i um if i want to to test how the game is performing but honestly i think the game is performing okay so let's let's remove it you know what maybe we can just uh um call it i'm just curious let's uh let's uh, write it into uh, the serial monitor <clears throat> I'm just curious but will I be able to launch it with the serial monitor that may be overload the size nope um, maybe So let's print out the boy um, CPU load. Okay, let's try that. I need to update the serial monitor, sorry. Um, just a minute. I need to, okay. I'm searching for the app for the window. Uh, oh, this one? Yeah, okay, it's this one. Okay, we are at one hundred. Uh, we are at 130 25 31 <laughs> in the menu which is uh, not good uh, okay the camera is dead sorry so here we are around 100 93 100 oh, which is good but i'm surprised because in the menu uh it's over 100 
and check the next level a little bit higher 100 106 110 106 it's uh it's okay it's okay Whoa. Ah <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um so <laughs> after checking we should uh remove this function maybe what we can do is um, uh, maybe we can just add a macro to remove it and uh, just in case we want to check later so If the if the if the if the profile profiling So uh, let's, I want to compile again with um, uh, Let's compile again just to have a reference in temp Oh no, 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 no I forgot to remove um, this Let's undo this Or maybe I can also comment it If they profiling, the init random seed, I I don't know if we need it actually. I'm not sure if we use any random generator if not we could just uh, uh, remove it also I totally forgot where we where do we have random I can search so we, will, we, we can search uh, okay profiling and um, so let's Okay, so our, our starting point is um, 28, uh, 28, 304. Let me write down. Usually when I do optimization, I write down a little pen. Otherwise I just forget if it's greater, smaller or greater, so 28. 304 that's our starting point
so yeah so I want to check um, this for example where is it used if it's only used on um, Post render, last frame duration now minus last frame start, frame count plus plus, post render false. Next frame. I think next frame is used. Um, yeah, here. Yeah. So Uh, if now let's next from start remaining remaining idle return force next from start now post render return post render I'm not sure what the post render is doing because there is some uh, return false here. Technically, next frame should be the last frame plus each frame, but if we are running a slow render, we will constantly be behind the clock. Keep an eye on this and see how it works. If it works well, the last frame variable could be eliminated completely completely last frame start okay well it seems those viable um, are used not only here but uh, wait wait here it's only a sign not used So, if it's only a sign, that means you don't need it. All right. You only need it if you read the variable, not if you just assign it. Mm, so you read it here, but if you don't want the profiling, you don't care. Okay, so yeah. Uh, oops, if dev profiling. And if. And then we can also remove it inside uh, in the declaration. And this one, is it used also somewhere? Or is it only used in the profiling? Here it's a sign, sets from right. Here it's used. And here it's read. So, uh, yeah, there is this set from right um that i don't use because i just use the default variable the value which is i don't know 60 or 30 
uh, we can check so that means we can we can fix it fix the value set frame rate 60 um, in the customer Dubai in the constructor okay yeah so we can just let's let's just uh, let's just art code this so for example um, so where where this one is used also just here and here it's not used ah <laughs> it's not used this one is used but not the frame rate so i don't know why it keep the frame rate in the maybe it was used before but i removed so many functions that's why also i wanted to clean and remove the unused function all right so if it's not used we can just delete it let's delete and this we did it delete it okay and this we need um and uh, we can also uh replace the so i will just move that in the constructor and replace the division by the value directly uh, let me because anyway i will not change the frame rate so this is set here this is definition yeah so let's cut this put it here and this we just remove and this we just remove all right and uh, 1000 divided by 60 well yeah it's uh, 16 16.6 is it what is this I guess it's uh, you int yeah so 17 Oh, I can do that. The compiler will uh, will will do it. Uh, for um, height of sixteen. actually it's 16 because it's an int division so let's keep it as it was before uh, all right so but this uh, can become a constant variable constant expression because it will never change so yeah let's change that to like I forgot the syntax static const exp
So, okay, we move this here. And we don't need this anymore. Okay. Uh, then, yeah. So I think that was the two viable in this uh, CPU load function. Last frame duration, which is remove and this one. Okay, and actually, um, because uh, it's 16, we could also replace the division by a bit shift. But uh, let's see how this one is used. Just a plus. This is CPU load, so I don't really care. Okay. Okay, next frame, last frame, post render. I think this viable are necessary. They use a uh, long for millisecond, but I guess it's necessary. Remaining. Okay, I think it's difficult to do more. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's see if there is some, something else. We can try to compile and see. Okay, so let's compile. How many bytes did we save? Maybe not a lot. 28 to 272. And we were at 28.304 to 272. Write it down. 28304 yes 28272 32 we saved 32 bytes <laughs> that's that's not a big that's not big but never mind it's still and the profiling is removed it's still a little bit okay uh what else okay so the row uh, ADC. I think this one is used um, inside the um, init random seat. So the question is do we use random in our game? And this I totally forget. It's used, it's used here. This one, okay, so this one we, we call it in the um, in the setup of the I know file. But yeah, that's the big question. Um, let's check, let's search uh, what is the run random function? I forgot, let me search. I think the random function is just rand. Um, so,
let's search in the code block fragment oh yes we use the random for the block fragment spoon okay fair enough we can keep it and the mirror flag also okay yeah that's fine let's keep it uh, so what else so we have the tuner audio I guess here we can save a lot but I, w I just want to finish in the customer out boy okay so this one we have seen we need this for viable this function we need it the buffer of the screen and the cursor for the okay for the text okay so i think we we have optimized everything we could in this all right so we can commit this and uh it's at least it's 32 byte but i'm sure we can do better <laughs> uh, it's a long process the uh, okay so we just define the profiling here and uh, but we remove it most of the time not defined so remove the frame rate make, make a fixed frame rate and remove the viable use for the profiling if not profiling Right, so let's continue. Uh, so I think so. These two files uh, are done. We may have uh, stuff to remove in audio because we don't play music. We only play sound, and I think we we don't have a space for music. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and also the font and the core so the font that we can probably uh, optimize because yeah of course the font is quite big as you can expect uh, but I think there is many character and we don't use all these characters specifically the special character and all that stuff um, however I think they just uh, use directly the character as the index in this array so that means if I want to remove the the character in the beginning and the character in the end the character in the end is easy to remove but the character in the beginning if I remove them well I cannot just remove that I have to change the the code to to add to the index so first let's see uh, where the phone is used and I think it's inside the the draw char uh, function 
um, here. So draw char. So uh, line read byte font plus character. I think C is the character. Oh come on! Why? Ah! <laughs> Variable with only one letter is always not good. So font plus character, x y character, color, background. Font plus character times five because the each character is five um, five colon plus i i is iteration. From one to six, from zero to five. Uh, so, yeah, you multiply C by five and then add the I. So, the I will iterate on the on the colon of each. Uh, each character and then I, g I guess after that it just draw this line draw pixel mm. they have a nice division here optimized actually this code is quite optimized but uh, yeah it's the it's the size of the array which is not so yeah definitely they start c from zero okay so let's um uh, let's see ascii the ascii table because kind of forget that um let me search So let's uh, ask the table for link. Okay. So obviously we don't need all these character. Blah 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 blah. We can start from. We need. We need the space. We need the space, unfortunately. Uh, so it's the thirty-two. We need thirty-two. Then uh, blah blah blah. Thirty. All this character maybe not the plus is used, but after that it's a bit difficult to skip some characters in the array, even if we don't use it. We we use the number, like in the um, in the result screen. I tell how many how many statuettes you collected, for example. So we use the numbers. We use uh, we use this character, the greater than, and then we use capital letter, small letter. Yeah, we probably use both. Kind of forget. Let's let me check what we have in the main menu. Yeah, we use some capital letter, small letter, dot, whatever. So I, I, I don't want to do a aggressive optimization. And, and also, uh, if I remove too much character just for adding some code, maybe it's not optimal. So, But at least we can remove the beginning and some at the end. We can, yeah. We can at least remove the first thirty two character and then what's that? After Z after Z we don't use also. 
Okay. So, um, 32 times 5, 160 byte. 160 bytes. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> All right, so um, tuk, tuk, tuk. so what I want to do is uh, remove 32 to C. Okay, I don't change C, of course. Well, I, I will change it here, yeah, but not in the colleague function. Just add some comment. The first 32 char has been removed from the font array okay so we just remove this 32 oh i remove 32 here and then in the font so they are all aligned which is good one two three four five thank you so uh it's line 10 it should be uh 42. Mm, yeah. one so uh it's like zero like 31 should be here I think no oh, no 41 uh, start from 10 41 minus 10 no uh, yes and then 0 0 0 is all space which is good okay remove that and then we can remove um, we can remove the one one two three four and five one two three four and five character at the end one two three four and five Okay, let's try. So I remove uh, the last five character here. Let's compile. So we should have gained 100, at least 160. So now it's 28094, uh, uh, which means. Um, So before it was twenty eight two seven two minus twenty eight oh nine four one hundred seventy eight yeah uh, bytes okay cool and let's see if we didn't make any mistake if we can still print all text. <laughs> I think it should work. It seems okay. Let's see on the control. It seems okay. And let's uh, just play. Oh, I should just want to kill myself. To see the end screen. Okay, zero 
statuette collected. Well, I guess it works, right? Okay. Um, so maybe we can commit this. It's a, it's an easy, <laughs> easy optimization, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe there is some uh, like the I don't know like the Z X Y Z uh, in small letter maybe we don't even use them we could I <laughs> could I could also check what is the last character I use in all the text I print and remove the one I don't use but uh, let's not be so crazy for now um, up, uh, remove use less character in the font Okay. All right, then uh, let's see what can we do next. Uh, there is the core and uh, and there is I don't think there is really a uh, useless stuff in the core, honestly. It seems very low level to me. But uh, yeah, I think what we can optimize is probably the audio. So in the audio, There's the play score and stop score. This is typically playing the music uh, that I guess we don't use. So there is some viable like the start uh, score start. Yeah. Um, I think we can probably delete this. Just want to check. I think we we use Playtone for the FX as uh, for the sound effects. So I think it's in FX Manager. Um, uh, Jubilate. Oh, tunes. Stop note. Okay, we use top note and uh, we play note. Okay, play note, stop note. This is what we use. So let's remove the play score and stop score. Just checking, but I think, yeah. Uh, any channel should be called, I guess, from somewhere. I don't know where, but um, here, I uh, guess it's calling the boot of the other boy. And uh, da, 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 da. Mm. 
delay. What is delay is probably used. Uh, play notes. Delay one, delay two in Audible Core. Uh, but it's not inside the audio. Hmm. Uh, where is the function definition? Here? Yeah? It's not it's not defined. It's a ghost ghost function, I guess. Out of tune. Yeah, I think there is no delay function. Okay, so it's a ghost function, I think. Close channel, all right. I think it's never called. We init the channel, but we never close them. Well, I guess this function is stripped, so we can leave it playing. Ah, flag telling if it's playing. I don't need that. Uh, is the score playing? Ah, yes, it tells if the score is still playing. Tune playing uh, or tune playing. Bull and way timer playing. Uh, is it currently playing a note? This probably is used. This one is used. Um, so where is the, again, where is the function definition? Let me search with uh, World word here tune playing but this function is never called at least not by me this is a command this is a command. A command. So I think this function is safe to remove. And if we maybe if it's f safe to remove, then the tune play playing function uh, variable can be removed too. Let's remove that. Does it compile? Oh, sorry. I forgot to save one file. Does it compile? Yeah, it compile. Same size because we just remove a uh, unnecessary uh, uncall function. But now I can check the tune playing. Uh, where is this uh, Audible Audio, Audible Tune? Let's 
so why is tune playing this viable where is it it's in the beginning here and this is a sign a sign a sign test okay sound output so it's red here so maybe it's needed and of and of score and of score wait so execute mock score command mm, so is sound output uh, used Definition here, here. What is that? ISR? Timer three is one assigned first, so we keep it running always and use it. No time score wait whether or not it is playing or not. I don't know what ISR is doing. Uh, is the score still playing? I uh, I'm wondering if it's only related to the music or if it's only used when you do a play note. I don't know. Okay, score, start, score, cursor. This one pointer to the musical score and the position. Okay, this I guess we can remove. Um, uh, yeah, so step, okay, the step to score common until the weight is found or the score is stopped, this call initially from tune play score. But then it's called from interrupt routine when weight expire. Okay. So that's for a tune play score. I have the feeling that this is probably not useful for uh, uh, for playing sound, for playing a note. So let's let's look let's look at play note stop note. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I would just comment right now to see if we lost the sound um, so I comment this, I comment this 
and I want to comment this tab also. We have stop note, play notes, in each channel. Uh, audio on off. This maybe we can remove if we don't play music. Okay, let's compile. Twenty seven seven or wow, seven hundred sixteen. It's like three hundred bytes if we don't need it. Let's see if we lose if we lost the uh, the sound. I still have sound. Yeah. So Yeah, I have some. So I think I don't need this. Okay. So let's remove it totally. So I remove the step. I remove the sound output. And probably we can remove this, um, but later. Uh, what is tone? This function is also not used, also a ghost function. Oh. Yeah, also a ghost function, I think. All right, so we have any channel uh, close channel, play note, stop note, and begin on off. That sounds good. So now let's clean the variable. So tune playing, I guess, is not used anymore. So we can remove uh, 
Um, I guess the timer three should be removed because we don't. Uh, we only used one. It's current frequency. Wait a For tune delay function. Okay, not used. about this one is it used not used Weight toggle count, I think also probably not used. Score start, probably not used. Score cursor also. Uh, okay. Or a timer three enable. So I think, yeah, we probably should uh, not use this for, uh, pin three. Timer one, timer three, because we don't need it anymore. Timer three, compact vector. Let's compile this. Twenty seven six eight six. All right. So we gain twenty eight zero ninety four minus. 27686 we gain 400 400 bytes wow and um, before we have already commented a lot of uh, fre note frequency this has to be int unfortunately um do -do 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 -do. I'm not confident in removing this. Maybe we can leave it like that. Maybe we can leave it like that for now. Okay, so I think we will stop here. Let's test again that I still have sound. And in total, if we do the 
the total. So we started at uh, 28,304 and now we are uh, 27,686. So we save 618 bytes, which is quite nice. Uh, that means we are at 96% of program now, so we can probably add a little more uh, level, <laughs> which is the good news, or at least we can start from the beginning because before I could not. Uh, last, just last test to check if I have sound. Yeah. I have sound. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Maybe I, I can move my microphone so you can hear the sound. You see, we, we the do 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 is quite fast now. There is no do 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 do. Good, let's commit that, and that would be all for today. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't need ASCII anymore. So, commit. So, what did we change in the audio? What did we remove? Play score, stop score, and um, playing, tone, step, sound. Basically, we just remove the music. No music for a game. <laughs> no space for music. And the CPP. Uh, so we remove that. And that's quite that's quite uh, strange because uh, even if I didn't use the um, the playing of the music it was still taking 400 bytes or 300 bytes at least which is uh, which is strange strange so anyway remove the uh, audio function to play music so we won't we will not have the um, what is it the uh, the chance to play with MIDI files <laughs> but maybe in the next game I'm not too, honestly, I'm not too sad about not having music. All right, that is for tonight. Uh, that's tonight for me, or for today for you, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's optimization. Opt optimization is boring, actually. I don't like it, but it's necessary. Um, we still maybe have more optimization that we can try to do uh, probably in our own code um, we should review again all the int that we use uh, we should try to search if there is some division that could be changed to shift bit shifting and uh, and so on but i have less confidence that i can get 
something substantial from that <laughs> and um, yeah so so maybe there won't be too much level after the the last that last one we are doing and by the way the last one is uh, not totally finished there is i've noticed there is some bug in um in the arrow launcher in the editor so this is the editor so we don't have program program issue um for reading the sensor value it's not reading the sensor value correctly and for the position of the arrow launcher which is not correct in the game um so yeah i don't know maybe next video we will uh probably make that last level working and uh uh, or maybe do some more optimization but maybe optimization i will do it outside of the video because i think it's a bit annoying and uh, well you have seen we have done some today uh yeah so see you in the next video then bye bye